Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to see if we can actually get a computer to run fine without a heatsink or fan. And that doesn't mean by putting anything fancy on top of the processor, that means having it bare. Obviously we're going to try a low-end processor, see how it goes. But what we'll basically see is if we can actually use it without the heatsink and fan. And while you're watching, do me a favour, click on that like and subscribe down at the bottom. It'll do us a big favour and it'll allow us to make more videos like these. Thanks again for watching. Okay, first of all, we're going to just clean over the CPU uh, just to make sure there's no thermal paste or anything like that on it. So what I'm going to use is this, which is called Tim Clean. Tim Clean is basically a citrus based cleaning um, fluid from uh, Akasa uh, and it smells very lemony is probably the best way of putting it, uh, but it's ideal for cleaning processors. So you just put a bit on a cloth, wipe it over and it should get rid of pretty much all the thermal paste there and then use a dry piece of the cloth to just dry it off. And there we go, so that's nice and shiny. The CPU the CPU we're using is a Intel Pentium G5400. It is a 3.7 gigahertz processor. The motherboard we're going to be using for this is a B360 Aorus Gaming Free Wi-Fi, which is a gigabyte board. Uh, we've also got 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory by Patriot. It's their Viper memory running at 3200 megahertz. So let's start this machine up and see if it powers first of all. There we go, give it a second to kick in. And that looks like that's kicking in. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is move the camera so you can actually see the screen. I'm not going to cut. Um, the main reason is this, that you can't turn around and say, oh, it wasn't the same machine or whatever, or doing screen grabs or anything like that. You'll be able to see this machine still running uh, along with the screen, which is just over here. Uh, and that way you'll be able to see what's going off and you'll be able to see there's no fake in it, basically. So let me just do the camera. Apologies for any movement. Okay, so there you can see the screen. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is check what sort of temperature we're running at. We're going to be running hardware info. So we're going to run sensors only and check what sort of temperature the CPU is actually running at. So let's have a look. And here we can see at the moment it's running at about 56 degrees Celsius, which in all honesty is not too bad, 40 degrees that's not too bad considering there is no heat sink or any cooler on there. But I'm guessing if we do something simple like open Google Chrome, that is going to jump up. So it's jumped up to the mid 40s, 46 degrees there at one point, even 49 degrees by just opening a web browser. Bear in mind we're not connected to the internet at the moment. The reason is we don't connect our testing machines up to the internet because the last thing we want is updates interfering with it as well we want all our test machines to be exactly the same so we don't want obviously different versions of windows different updated programs and so forth everything needs to be identical so what we're going to do is just open a few tabs and have a look at the temperature already before i even open the tabs we can see the temperature jumped up to 60 to 70 degrees now so that's pretty hot and i'm guessing if we open up a few tabs on here which i'm doing now that temperature is going to jump up a little bit more, 77 degrees there, so we're not far off 80 degrees in temperature. There you go, it's just at 80 degrees, which is pretty hot considering all we've got open is a few tabs on Google Chrome uh, and nothing else. So in basics, if you wanted to surf the internet, yes you could without a cooler. So let's just say you're in the middle of a pandemic or uh, an apocalypse and for whatever reason you can't find a CPU cooler if you've got a Lion processor yes it will work but obviously it's going to get hot and I wouldn't advise it because it's going to probably fry itself after a while and just to show you what happens when we put it under a full load 
we're going to open up Passmark Burning Test, which is a, an older version we're using, but it does what we want it to do. And we're going to tell it to run at 100%. So what that's going to do is make all the cores of the processor run as fast as possible. Um, so that's going to make, basically make it really hot. And while we're doing that, I'm going to get a task manager up just to show you so you can actually see how fast the process is going. Uh, so if I run the test now, that's just starting it up. And you can see on the right hand side of the screen, the temperatures here are up to 72, 75. And I don't think it's going to be long before it gets over 80 degrees on there. So 82 degrees. You can see the process is working flat out at the moment at 100% there. It's now up to 87 degrees. So as you can see, if you're working that processor out full whack, it is going to get really hot. And we're pretty much in the 90s now, early 90s, 91. It hasn't slowed down the processor yet, so it's still going at 3.7 gigahertz, basically. We're running at 96 degrees now, so it's running very, very, very hot. 97. Our CPU speed is actually dropping now. It's dropped down to 3.3 gigahertz and dropping because it's getting that hot. It doesn't want to go basically as fast, so it's trying to cool itself down by not doing as much work. And you can see the CPU is not doing as much work. You can see it's dropping on there as well, and it's now only running at 3 gigahertz of the speed. So yeah, it will work. Temperature at the moment is over 99 degrees. Uh, that's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So it is very, very hot. So it's not something you'd want to touch. If you're not sure how hot 99 degrees is, basically 100 degrees Celsius boils water. So that gives you a rough idea how hot it gets. But the basics is, if you did want to use a machine without the cooler, yes, you can, as long as it's not too overpowered. Uh, it will work, but it's unadvisable. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.